Hola mis amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a un nuevo capítulo. Hello my friends, how are you all? Welcome to the new chapter of Spanish Language Learning Center and this is the second video in this series of IE stem changing verbs. Yes, in the previous video we saw stem changing verb where stem changed from A to EA and this is the second one in that series and we'll soon see the reason for having it as a series. The first verb over here is tener, which means to have. Now friends, you've got to know this verb. It's used in everyday language, whether you pull up a Spanish newspaper or you go out and talk to some Spanish speaking people or you are looking at a video. This verb will pop up very often. All right, tener, which means to have. Now, if we actually break this verb into two parts, we have this air part, which is the infinitive ending, and rest of the verb, ten, it forms the stem. So since we're talking about stem changing verb, so ten is the part which, be, which will be undergoing the transformation as well. Now, the vowel over here is a, and what transformation it goes through, we know. It is a to e. But first, let's define the endings for er verb. It's O, S, A, M, O, S, A, S, N. Alright? And this is the transformation we know. Instead of changing verb, A is the vowel over here. A changes to E, A. And remember, this transformation of this change in the stem occurs in the L region. Which means in Yo, Tu, El, Ea, Usted, Eos and Usted this region. Nowhere else. Nosotros and Vosotros region. They are unaffected. They don't undergo the stem change transformation. Now, you may think that you want to say, I have. You really cannot say, your tenor because that will mean, I do have. Not the right sentence. So here, again, tenor is a rule breaker. Now, here, it's not only, it's not, it doesn't go with the stem changing. It is altogether a different word. Tengo. Tengo, your form is irregular for tener. I have tengo. Now, this tu, el, ea, usted, and usted, this region, they follow this rule. So, you have tienes. You just pop out this a and you place in this ea over here. So, you have tienes. He has, she has. You have in a formal way TNA. TNA. They have TNN. So you see what we have done? We have popped out this A and we have placed EA over here. TNN. They have. Nosotros form. We have Tenemos. Stem changes doesn't apply over here in Nosotros and Vosotros region. You all have. Tenéis, tenéis. So friends, those are the conjugations for tener. Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, tienen. Let's try and use them in few sentences. Okay, do you have a boyfriend? So you are asking someone that question. Boyfriend, if you go back to the chapter, we covered as family terms, family in Spanish, you'll have this terminology with you. Boyfriend is novio. And now you are talking about you have. Have is tener. You form. TNS or TNA. Alright. And a un. Because boyfriend is a masculine noun. TNS un novio. Or TNA un novio. Yes, I have. So, yes is C. I have. Tengo. So either you can say tengo or yo tengo. Si, sí, yo tengo. They have the address. Eos form of tener, tienen. Address is dirección. Eos tienen la dirección. So you want to know how this la came in? Refer to our another video the in Spanish they have the address ellos tienen la dirección 
she has two cars él ella usted form of tener tiene she is ella two refer to a chapters which one numbers in spanish and car is coche and because we are talking about more than one car coches ella tiene dos coches they have the keys now you must be getting okay tell me what will be the spanish translation ellos tienen las llaves because we are talking about multiple keys again why las refer to a chapter the in spanish he is 31 years old okay so now you must be wondering how do i put in tener over here so in spanish when you are actually talking about age so it's more like something that you possess so in english you want to say he is 31 years old in spanish you actually say it he has 31 years so age is something that a person possesses okay so él tiene 31 años all right so that's something you got to remember when it comes to age in spanish it is always considered to be something possessed by a person okay i am hungry okay how does this fit in tener so tener which means to have but then a lot of times it is also expressed for the to to be and a lot of times when you look at those feelings hungry thirsty you will see this usage of tener so yes you can use estar there as well but then tener is again very widely used when trying to express a feeling in terms of food actually i am hungry so that also means in spanish as i said i have hunger so tengo hambre tengo hambre so friends those were the examples of tener you find lot of them on the internet check them out try to use this and we'll are uh, moving to another example over here now the verb over here is obtener obtener which means to obtain now if we again break this verb into two parts we have er which is the infinitive ending and rest of the verb obtain it forms the stem now if you remember in the last two chapters as well we talked about that if we have a three syllable verb so it is the second syllable vowel in the second syllable that undergoes the stem change so over here first let's define the endings again because it's a air verb o s a m o s a s n and a changes to e a all right now why are we again discussing this verb so yes it's a er ending verb but if you also notice it is tener the verb it ends with tener all right so this is how we mean or this is how we know that here the yo form will be irregular the yo form won't follow this rule a changing to ea so if i want to say i obtain obtengo obtengo remember tener tengo so because we have a tener over here tengo and you just add this prefix o o tengo rest of the verb at least this el vision to el usted form and usted this form they follow this rule you obtain obtienes he obtains she obtains you obtain obtiene they obtain obtienen nosotros vosotros son not affected by stem change obtenemos you all obtain obtenéis 
So friends, those were the like two verbs that we discussed the conjugations and we tried to form some sentences. What I am going to do is give you few more verbs. You can start forming their conjugations on their own and try to use them in these sentences. So first one is venir, which means to come. Now you must be thinking it doesn't ends with tener. What doesn't look like tener? Now the similarity between venir and tener is venir is a stem changing verb. But your form is irregular, just like venir. So your form of venir, if you look in the internet, it's vengo, vengo. All right. Rest of the conjugations you can form on your own. Another one, mantener, to maintain. Contener, to contain. Detener, to detain or to stop. Retener. to retain so friends these are the like some verbs which i have given you you go ahead and form the conjugations and that's all we had in this chapter please do subscribe to our channel we really need your support and we are putting in lot of effort to actually build up all this nice content and bring in front of you so the donation link is given in the video description please help us thank you